Hey, everybody. So real quick, just so we have a really quick lesson on adaptation. All living things adapt to their surroundings. All living things. Okay. So you may have an initial upset of homeostasis, right? When you got your vaccines, you got an upset of your homeostasis. You may be a little bit mutated. You may have contracted some kind of autoimmune disorder, but you are still alive. Yes, you're mutated, but you are still alive. Your body and you were able to adapt to those conditions. No different than the trees out there in the world that you are assuming that are completely dying because of the alleged chemtrails that are water vapor laced with elements. If they wanted, uh, if they really wanted us to die, they would take a shiz ton of arsenic or acid and pour it over the trees and completely overwhelm the trees and destroy all life like a gas chamber, like a human in a gas chamber. If they truly wanted to kill you. But no, they're just kicking up the elements with these chemtrails in the sky, which is basically water vapor. And it may have, you know, elements that are laced in there, heavy elements, you know, heavy metals, maybe exotic spores, no different than people who, you know, shed from vaccines. But guess what? The trees and you are all adapting. Yes, you're mutated. Yes, it's going to shorten your lifespan. And right now, what's going on with the trees is when they start dying because of the, you know, the death process, guess what? They drop seeds and then new trees grow. Oh, and guess what? With humans, when they start on their death trajectory, guess what? They drop eggs. And then guess what? There's a male somewhere within a two, two foot vicinity that's willing to put their penis in there and, and, and fertilize it. And then guess what? You have a kid. You're going to carry that species forward. There is no genocide going on. There's just more control measures for you to go to your pills, powders, and supplements and detox and then say, oh yeah, I'm vitamin D deficient. I got to go now take my hormone replacement therapy and mutate my body even more so I can procreate even more and then die an early death, you know, and everybody, you know, and then the government gets your social security because your, your husband or your boyfriend died right along with you. So the government gets all the money that you would have used if you were to retire and lived a very long time in the system. So I don't want to buy, oh, they're killing the forests. They're killing, you know, all this stuff. No, they're upsetting homeostasis. Just like in the beginning of how our country was born, there was chaos. That's right, Heather Buchanan. I am a quack. I am yapping my mouth to basically take the wind out of your henny penny sails. I am saying, hey, stop focusing on what is not important. Focus on what is important. I am basically challenging your programming. So you can call me a quack all you want, but get the fuck off my Facebook. Anyways, so all of these chemtrails, all these things is not harming anything. If anything, it's just, just like in the beginning, that's right. Just like in the beginning, when America was first born, there was chaos and there was death, right? And then civilization and order happened. So chaos equals death and then life and order. That's what happens anytime you introduce a massive amount of elements that may throw the homeostasis off in one area. But guess what? The balance does come back. The, the living species totally adapts and then if it is on a specific death trajectory and it will drop seeds and it will it'll procreate it'll reproduce that's the circle of life these people that are like henny penny oh they're killing us are killing us you're actually killing yourself heather buchanan you are actually contributing to the negative energy in this world and your comment speaks volumes to how chaotic your internal universe is
And the fact that you can't even embrace new information and you still want to stay stuck in your truther programming speaks volumes to why the eugenic system actually may be something that we need because there are people in this world that are so negative, we don't want them in our midst because they're so parasitic. So you can choose life or death, honey. And you can say, oh, well, I'm too, you know, what? what? So what are you going to do? You're, you're going to take all the planes out of the skies and then prove to everybody that there's something in there that's causing all this death? Or are you going to look at and see what the hell are you doing? What are you eating? What supplements are you taking? What vaccines are you taking? What cars are you driving? What, you know, clothing are you buying? You think that your life is so pristine that you do nothing to contribute to the degradation or said degradation to our society? No, the hypocrisy is overwhelming. I am someone that will continue to speak. I don't mind being a duck. I would rather be a duck than be a freaking chicken with my head cut off. At least ducks or quacks at least have a stance. And they have a passion and they're willing to put things in perspective using logic, not emotion and not fear tactics. So yes, I'm challenging some of the chemtrails community who are so who are so I would say addicted who are so addicted to the end of the world scenarios. They actually want the world to end because it would make them it would basically, you know, vindicate them. They are praying for the world to end. They are praying for some kind of chaos to happen where there is death and destruction so they can say, see, I told you so. You guys didn't listen to me. That's what these end of the world type of people are. They want death and destruction because they don't want to you know, do anything to contribute opposite of that and say, hey, maybe we shouldn't be so quick to, to make these assumptions. No, they are praying for the fall of society because it would vindicate them. We don't want those types in our midst. Those are actually contributing to, you know, the parasitic qualities of our society. They don't belong in my world. And hopefully she took herself off my Facebook. She doesn't belong in my world. So anyways, I love you guys. You got it. All right. Bye-bye. Yes, they are, Alexis. Yes, they are full of S. (laughs) Bye-bye.